Hey Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How do they feel about you and how do they see you at this time? Keep in mind that some of the energies here may be vice versa. Please check your other signs if this does not resonate for you at all, okay? Thank you so much for all your support and let's begin. How do they feel about Leo and how do they see Leo at this time? Any insider guidance for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? How do they feel about Leo and how do they see Leo at this time? We ask for insight and guidance for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, let's cut the deck and let's see what comes up for you. Here we go. First card, we have Six of Pentacles, followed by the Nine of Swords. We have Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so Leo, I do feel like this person has been thinking a lot about you, has been having a lot of sleepless nights. Okay, they could be going back and forth, um, reliving the memories that you both have shared. This is somebody you already dealt with in the past or you have some kind of history together, you go way back. Okay, they have been wanting to reconnect with you and reach out to you, but they're afraid that you're just going to shun them away. This could also just be their fear. Okay, they don't want to be rejected. They don't want to be shunned away. It's like they want to do some random acts of kindness, but they don't want to appear as though it just came out of nowhere, you know. Um, for some of you, it could also be some kind of analysis paralysis. Fear could be over consuming your person. This could also be fear of what you're going to be thinking about them. If things didn't really go accordingly in the past to how you would have wanted for things to be Leo, if there has been a falling out here, okay, they have been thinking about what they did and what they haven't done in your connection to make you feel emotionally fulfilled because they feel like. I feel like there has been a one-sided situation or that at some point you felt like you were you were getting the short end of the stick here. So there could be some pride getting in the way or just some kind of fear of being rejected that's blocking your person from re really reaching out to you. But they, they're feeling quite intoxicated with these memories. It's like they want to release this because it's already creating anxiety and stress. Them not being able to take action and always thinking about this, Leo. Okay, but with Four of Pentacles, there's also this not wanting to take a risk, okay? This could also be fear of being embarrassed for some reason. So they're dealing on this on their own in their quiet moments or at night as well. Let's see. We have here the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. The Four of Cups. The Fool card and the Ten of Swords. Okay. So there has been a painful cycle that has come to an, end, to an end. This can also indicate that whatever they're stressing about and worrying about, it's not going to come to an end, okay? But they're holding on to this, Leo. Somebody's holding on too much on their fear, on past attachment, on pain as well. But I see that this is more or less holding on to some kind of fear. And this is now blocking them from, you know, fully taking a chance on something new. Okay, with the Four of Cups, they could be now reassessing and reevaluating if their decisions were right. I feel like for some of you, this is ha this has been the person who ended things with you, but they were they have been making this decision in the past out of fear. It is not something well thought of. It was about um, wanting to escape their worries, their anxiety, and their stress. It has nothing to do completely about you, but might be with something else, one aspect of their life. And they feel like by getting rid of the connection, they could somehow ease their stress here. Or just not try to burden you if they're not really able to reciprocate. Okay, but now they're real realizing here with Four of Cups that the path they have chosen was not emotionally fulfilling. I see a lot of um, introspection here, meditation. This can also mean that there was some imbalance in the connection. Something has been done extreme, Leo. Okay. You were extremely giving. You were extremely really tuning into this person's needs way back then. But at some point, you had to take a step back because you, you could have felt like, wait a minute, I was, uh, I'm getting the short end of the stick. This person is not being, you know, it's not reciprocating my efforts. There has been a feeling of rejection as well, Leo. But now it is this person that's 
being haunted okay i see being haunted um regretting what they've said and what they didn't say okay or them not being able to prioritize you there's also fear of being rejected by you if they're going to reach out but they have desire for a new beginning with you leo a clean slate a fresh start to do things all over again okay so bottom of the deck we have three of wands the tower the king of pentacles some of you are dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so this tower represents the falling out okay or this could represent a moment of awakening something has been brought to the light somebody's priorities have now been made crystal clear leo so something didn't work out in their life accordingly to how they they thought it was going to be and because of this um moment of awakening it's like they realize how they may ha they may have treated their relationships including yours here how they might have been showing you um behavior that was pushing you away how they've been spiteful towards you there was this energy of closed off or it's like they were rejecting what it is that you had to offer back then so now that this tower moment hit there has been a realization it has it has been a painful revelation to this person okay the ego is now coming down pride and ego is being stripped away and now somebody's purest heart is now being revealed okay i do feel like this can indicate that once they release their fear and just let this moment of shaking happen everything else will soon be settled a new balance can be restored they have the power to manifest something new here or just get rid of this stressful mindset that they are in there's so many more things to look forward to in the near future. This is their ability to reach out to you or build a proper foundation of themselves. So Leo, everything is aligned with your person. This is what I'm seeing. There's some kind of disappointment going on in one aspect of their life. They had to give up on their relationship back then or they were just not energetically reciprocating in your relationship because they were too focused on one aspect of their life. This could be their career they're holding on to, their reputation, their social status, whatever the case may be. And so they realized that they have mi perhaps misplaced their focus. They were expending all their energy in that one place. And now that this didn't really work out, all right, it, it has meant to reveal what is, what where th does their true priorities lie? If they are really pursuing a path that's going to make them emotionally fulfilled. Because this is saying that it wasn't really stable. It was perhaps based on ego here or desire for something that is not alignment with what spirit wants. So they haven't been really being authentic here, Leo. At some point, they got off track with the path that Spirit wants for them. Because here with Six of Cups and the full card, it's like they're not being encouraged, guided towards getting back to themselves. They need to reevaluate their desires here. They might have been chasing the wrong things, superficial things, or materialistic gains. Whatever the case may be, it's like now they're going back to themselves. And part of that is them reflecting on their behavior in the past getting a glimpse of the, how they may have treated you and other relationships in their life okay they might have been isolated as well i feel like because if you're dealing with this king of pentacles they're always ahead of the game always dedicated with their career and at some point this might have alienated you or they were becoming antisocial for some reason there has been high intensity and demand to be successful okay so that's what i'm seeing here now that this dust is finally clearing, they're able to become more compassionate to themselves because they feel like the way that they treated you is how also they treated themselves, Leo. They were not giving themselves permission to rest, enjoy simple pleasures in life, cultivating other important aspects of themselves like leisure activities, passion. They always are working too hard you know, to achieve a level of success that they feel they need to be in okay but the tower means this could be built from pride and ego it's not really their authentic selves okay and now the mass is coming down i feel like they are going to be in a, in a sense of new beginning very soon you will soon recognize this new energy um it, it almost feels like a, a brand new perspective in life they're coming towards you becoming more compassionately more loving more kind so don't be surprised if this person will be reaching out to you i do feel like they can be hypercritical of themselves leo with the nine of swords they could be thinking of all the possibility before they even take action you are dealing with an extreme warrior here the type to always have control on things and so with this card this is saying that they need to trust in divine divine timing for things to unfold 
It could be that they're always stressing when things are not under their control, Leo. But control can oftentimes be just an illusion, right? Some things are still beyond our control, such as this tower moment that happened with your person. You know? They should stop trying to know everything, control everything, and just live freely without concern and worry and anxiety and make a decision that's really going to honor their heart's purest intention. This is what I'm seeing. And not latch their energy on things that, at the end of the day, you know, don't bring them emotional fulfillment. They feel definitely exhausted and tired here, though. Chasing the wrong things. So, let's clarify these cards, Leo. Let me know if this resonates. I was getting a clear picture in this reading. This may not resonate for all of you, so do check your other signs, okay? And keep in mind, some of the energies may be vice versa. You might be open to uh, reconsider, though, Leo. Okay, this is saying that you may have rejected the idea in the beginning, but with the full card, it's like there's possibility for you both to continue your love story here, pick up from where you left off, but a sense of having a fresh new perspective. Releasing the past here, this Ten of Swords can mean any low vibrational energy, anguish or resentment over what happened in the past, feeling betrayed as well by this person. Okay, you're releasing a grip on that. Whoever is holding some kind of resentment. And there will some kind of balance to be restored here. Allow this person to meet you halfway though, Leo. And find out their real intention. Okay? If they're definitely coming around. Six of Cups. This might be unexpected, unforeseen as well. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? We have um, the Six of Wands. So they're definitely making plans coming towards you. For some of you, like I said, there is some pride and ego still getting in the way. That's why this tower, it's its still ongoing. It's a process. This can mean that they're feeling like they're in a high horse somehow, Leo. Um, they have strong desire to be successful. But they have strong drive towards coming, toward, uh, coming towards you here. Okay, they just don't want to be uh, treated coldly with Five of Pentacles. For some of you, you are the ones who were left out in the cold by this individual in the past, okay? You could have left things hanging. Uh, there was no clear closure in the situation. Five of Pentacles can also indicate that they are going through some personal winter in their life. Like I said, there was some kind of disappointment. This could be also regarding their health because Ten of Swords means they have depleted themselves physically. So they coming towards you and wanting to find comfort, wanting to find support with you, Leo. You're not maybe so sure about this because you don't also want somebody to depend on you when you can't depend on them when you needed them the most. But this is saying I feel like you're going to open up and become more compassionate. You're going to get a different perspective on things and so is this person. A fresh new perspective on things, okay? It's about supporting each other, no longer clinging on what happened in the past. It's about acceptance and forgiveness, not holding on to this because it's also weighing both parties down. Why is the Six of Cups here? Two of Wands. So this person is going back and forth in their mind, making a decision. Soon they will be taking action. They have realized that the path they've taken in the past wasn't unhealthy at all. They realized that um, it wasn't really the outcome they were hoping for. It was neither good nor bad, but it wasn't also emotionally fulfilling. So they definitely miss you, Leo, and what you had here. Or they miss how they used to be as well. They're now realizing that this is not the person they would want to be. Somebody who's feeling quite miserable, exhausted all the time, chasing the wrong things here, and alienating others. So there's going to be a real moment where your person is going to change, okay? Is going to awaken. Although this change, of course, don't happen overnight, Leo. But you will soon see the change here. A different energy. We have Five of Cups. So they are going through some feelings of regret or remorse by the ending that happened or falling out. For some of you, they don't want to regret losing an opportunity here with you if it's not a little too late. For some of you, this can also indicate that it might be a little too late for some of you. Because this indicates crying over spilled milk here. Let's see. Why is the Temperance card here, please? We have the Four of Swords. Okay, so they're in deep contemplation. They've been thinking a lot about you, especially at night. 
you're also uh, thinking of the right approach here for some of you it could be that they're trying to find balance between fear and their desire to take action it could also be a period of break from something that has been stressful leo or stressing their health out I just see that you want inner peace with this. You don't want to be bothered if somebody is coming around and only to create more stress in your life. I feel like you're not rushing in making a decision. You might actually be just observing this person, observing the whole situation. You're not forcing things to happen, Leo. Okay, you're also not taking action. It's just your energy here is you're looking forward to something new. If this person is going to be coming around with the same kind of energy, I don't feel like you're going to accept that offer. Okay. But you're going to be accepting something new, something different. So there's still possibility for this. We have Queen of Cups. You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I just feel like right now you're trying to emotionally detach yourself, Leo. At the moment, this person has been having difficulty expressing how they really feel, okay? They're quite shy about telling you how they regret missing an opportunity, okay? I do feel like it's only a matter of time for them to open up here. They could still be resisting because they don't want to uh, They don't want to appear like they're begging for your attention or that... I don't know what the case may be, but they just have this restriction right now. With the Sun card, wow, and the Fool card, I see that this person will have their energy back up, their positivity, optimism. If this is about their health or going through a personal winter, it talks about seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. For some of you, this means healing, the Fool card and the Sun card. There are good things coming towards you both. Okay, it can also mean that you are somebody that brings so much healing in this person's life, Leo, without you even realizing. Okay. You want to also see this person heal. For some of you, you're focused on your healing. You want to get back to a happier state here. Um, you're focused on freeing yourself from all this worry, stress, and anxiety brought about by the situation as well. You're looking towards the future with positivity. So we have the Empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy. So for some of you, it's about being compassionate towards yourself, allowing yourself time to heal. Because if you're going to take this person back with, with you still hurting or just even consider taking each other back while you both are still hurting, it might, be not, might not be the outcome that you're hoping for. Is the energy of, you know what they say, hurt people hurt people. So that's what I'm seeing here. You're taking the time to just heal yourself and not rush in. Um, taking any kind of offer back it's just that you know you need to focus on yourself for now the empress talks about growth expansion stepping into your power here giving all that love back to yourself we have nine of swords because this has completely stressed you out this showed up twice for some of you it is this person now that's stressing about this leo it seems like there's some kind of regret because they're now seeing you step into your power that you're somebody very hard to reach now or that you have completely detached yourself okay it's it could be a little bit too late kind of situation for some of you we have two of swords and the eight of wands so i see that with the two of swords there is some kind of in denial not seeing things unraveling in front of them or that they don't know what approach to make they are quite indecisive they're going back and forth in their mind should i do this should i do that so should they reach out to you? Should they communicate with you? The Eight of Wands can be in communication. It could also be um, no longer delaying on things, no longer being stuck in the decision. It's about taking charge, taking action. Okay, with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, and King of Swords with the Six of Swords. So there's a lot of sword energy here. You might be dealing with an air sign as well. Some of you, I do feel like it's time for you to make sharp decisions, Leo, if and when this person is going to reach out to you again with a romantic offer. I feel like you need to come prepared with a sound mind, okay? And really consider all angles and perspective. Whatever you choose, though, it's going to help you move forward towards the calmer waters. Whether you choose to work things out with this person, it may not be a smooth process. I got to tell you that right now. It could be an up and down kind of situation. It's not a smooth process, but... If you're willing to work th things out, it could be highly possible. You will get towards calmer waters. There will be healing. There will be a big change, okay? 
For some of you, though, it could be completely cutting ties so you can finally reach, um, you know, reach a point of your life where there's stability, security, healing, okay? You want to get to calmer waters. This Knight of Cups means this has affected you emotionally. For some of you, it could also mean that you're ready to confront this person if and when this person is going to come towards you. You're waiting for the right opportunity to speak your mind, okay? You're coming with a sound decision. You're trying to exclude your emotions on this and see things in a rational perspective. Nine of Cups and Ten of Wands. You're laying down this burden and saying, I need to focus on myself, giving myself the best. This has already been an uphill battle. Okay, Ten of Wands. You have taken more load than you should. So Nine of Cups means that you are giving yourself the best here, focusing on your emotional fulfillment. But there's also going to be a wish fulfillment here, Leo. For those of you that are seeing to work things out with this person, it may not be an easy task because it requires a lot of discipline. I feel like you're going to be heavily on point on this, on the lookout, watching and observing how this person is before taking this person completely back. It's just you're, go you're going to want to see some kind of change here, some kind of dedication. If they're really uh, going to be willing to put the effort in, this ten of wands can indicate hard work. You're not going to be making it easy here. It's going to be a process. You're not giving them any kind of assurance though, but I see that you're going to be slightly open about the possibility. You're not completely closing your doors, okay? So let's get some advice cards, Leo. At the end of the day, it is their decision to make. This is what the cards are saying. Whatever you choose, it's a lot better than being stuck in indecision, wondering and hoping when is this ever going to happen. So when the real moment comes, you know, it's best to use this time to contemplate. Think of the decision you, um, on your own, need to make. Okay. Let's see. But might be that it is only a period of break for you both, but... You know, you have some kind of unfinished business here. So what is your advice for Leo going through the situation, please? We have like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Exactly, it's about reciprocity. Second card we have here, spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. This is the number two in the deck. This might be a significant number. For some of you, this is the number 27. If you add two together, two and seven together, it's a number nine. Okay, I'm going to read to you this card first. Let's see what it says in the booklet. This gives more detailed information. The law of attraction states that you need to be in the vibration of what you want to create. Love will come to you more readily if you surround yourself with love and easily find things to love about your life. Take a moment to think of the many things you love. Use your imagination and visualize a world in which you can manifest your heart's desire. Try not to seek out whatever it is that you wish for. This is the challenging aspect of the law of attraction. Act as if what you yearn for is already here. Giving attention to or waiting for what you're longing for sends a message to universe that you don't possess your desire and you will not magnetize not having it. A fairy holds an image of herself that holds an even smaller image of herself. The smallest image could be associated with your inner child and what you have longed for in your life. You attract to your life things that mirror your thoughts. This would explain why the fairy is holding an image of herself. Fairies symbolize the magic that life has to offer. This is a card of hope and a reminder that magic is readily at hand when you shift into a place of positive patience. Okay, now we have here number 27. Everything happens for a reason. Some people come into your life to help you learn a lesson and they will make a real impact on your life. Whether it be with a lover, a primary partner, or in a relationship for growth, spirit connection, spiritual connection is important to you now. This card very gently reminds you to allow the universe to support you. You might be trying to control aspects of your life that are not within your power. When a connection has a spiritual basis, nurture it with love and surrender. Put a situation into the hands of divine and ask that the outcome be for the highest good of all involved. A situation may be asking you to stretch yourself. Know that you are going to grow and expand during this phase, but try not to lose yourself. Communicate your needs and wants and listen to what is being shared. Two people look intently into each other's eyes, revealing the deep trust that exists between them. Their gaze exemplifies their strong connection. A cord that seems to originate from their crown chakras connects the two individuals and illustrates their strengthening spiritual bond. Take a moment to consider the unity that exists even when you are odds with one another. 
Consider how much can be revealed through love and understanding. Wow. This is your reading, Leo. I hope that this was able to give you insight. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't, okay? I'm sending you love and light and namaste.